Frankly, I don't know how Steve Hardy's handled the workload he's had over the past 20 years. What do you mean? He's a dynamo. Yeah. Well, hiya, big boy. 23, skidoo. Good Lord. Who are you supposed to be? Well, who do you think? Tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> Shirley Temple. Oh, you are funny, darling. <laughs> Martha Washington. Herb he's not... Washington? <laughs> he's not being funny, Lila. He doesn't have a clue. Lila, you look charming. Thank you, dear. Thank you. <laughs> we have ransacked every rental costume shop in this town all day yesterday. What for? What for? Well, for the... For the whole party, on the train to Nag's Head, on Sean Donnelly's train, on the Pullman car, you know, Alan. Celia and Jimmy Lee's wedding. Well, having thrown myself into all these problems at General Hospital, I don't think I'm going to have time for that sort of thing. You know, I must say, I think that this trip down to the hospital ship really is a bit frivolous. I just never realized what a huge workload Steve had. Oh, yes, you have, Edward. Could we change the subject, please? Mm, Monica, darling, show him the top hat we bought him. Here you go. You got something for me? I sure do. Look at this. I'll get it. Good. Well, well, well. <laughs> right on, dear. Oh, I don't know, Lyle. Oh, come on, Edward. Try it on. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Well, now, don't you look handsome? Oh, you think so, huh? I think you look dashing, Edward. Well, I do carry it off rather well, don't you think? I'm and Jim Brady himself. <laughs> oh, my dear. <laughs> Oh, tell me, pretty maiden, are there any more at home like you? There are a few, my <laughs> sir, some flirty girl, and very pretty too. <laughs> uh, well, I don't remember any more of the lyrics. <laughs> I may need help getting up from there. <laughs> well, that was very interesting news. What is that? Well, what do you think? It's a hat. What do you... Oh, never mind. That was Steve Hardy on the phone. I have been summoned to Washington. Oh, good Lord. What's happened to the country? He needs my help in advising him on the hospital funding. Well, doesn't he know I'm available? I happen to be particularly qualified in clinic and community needs, sir. Oh, well, if they want to know how to save money, tell them to call on me. Washington, such a beautiful city, so <laughs> exciting. Yes, it is, isn't it? Well, listen, I've got to get going. I've got to go upstairs and pack. Oh, uh, uh, Alan, wait a minute. Um, you're not going to miss the wedding, are you? Oh, no, I'll probably be back in time. Actually, I better check, find out what time the flights listen, are. Listen, listen, Alan, I have a wonderful idea. What date does the wedding actually start? August 2nd. But the train is going to stop at a, a, a wonderful place. It's, it's called uh, Love's Hope. That's where the actual ceremony is going to be. Mm -hmm. That's when our dear little Celia becomes $20 million richer. Hi. Oh, you're on your way to Washington now? I am on my way to Washington. Would you excuse me for a second? I have to get a new check for me. Thank you. Didn't mean to shove you. Uh, listen, will you please tell Steve to get back here as soon as possible? He's needed at General Hospital. I'll tell him. I think I'll go into the study and read this report of Bobby's. He, she's a very powerful woman, you know that? Oh, yes, I know. Yeah, well, have a good trip. Thanks very much. Yeah. Look after yourself, will you? What are you doing? Don't they look nice? The suitcases? Uh-huh. Oh, yes, they're very, very beautiful. Why are you dressed up? Are you going someplace? Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. How does having a second honeymoon in Washington strike you? Why, well, I already had one. I said a second honeymoon. In Washington? One of those smoke-filled back rooms of Washington? No. No, one of the bridal suites in a wonderful hotel. What would I do in a bridal suite? You really asked that, didn't you? Oh. Monica, look, I must tell you, there's a time for work and there's a time for play. I don't believe you, Alan. With all the romance that is in the air, you haven't caught any of it. What romance? What romance? With Jimmy Lee and Thea getting married, going on a train, in costumes, feather boas, glamour, amour. Listen, amour. This is for Jimmy Lee and for Celia. They are the main attractions on this train. Well, my friend, 
I could very well be part of that main attraction because Celia has asked me to be matron of honor. Well, that's swell. Have fun. Well, I would have fun, except for Lorena. I don't want to hurt her. Why not? It seems like a good idea to me. Alan, she is my cousin. We are of the same blood. Yes, but it's bad blood. It's iron poor blood. You want to do something for somebody, do it for Celia. She's a quarter main. Do it for her. She's got nice blood. You know something? You are an insufferable snob. Well, I calls them as I see them. All right. You just goes to Washington all by yourself. That's what I plan to do in the first place. And let me tell you something. The next time you get a romantic thought in your head, sit on it. Couldn't have been better. Did you get the money? We did indeed. Steve did anyway. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, speaking That's of wonderful, wonderful, that outfit is wonderful. Oh, well, do you like it? I do. Do you think I could Thank borrow you. it sometime? Hey, listen, <laughs> well. could we discuss fashion later, Monica? We've got to get upstairs to Steve's office. We've got a meeting to attend to. Excuse me, I don't mean to be rude. Who are you? Your meeting. Your uh, what? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Bud Stryker, this is my husband, Alan Quartermain. Oh! How do you do? It's a pleasure. Yeah, I've been expecting you. I'm sorry, we were a bit late. We were warming up. I beg your pardon? Well, for the show, you know, practicing our walks, our turns, our moves, you know. No, I didn't know. <laughs> for the hat contest, Alan, and the wedding train. Oh, that, yeah, really. Yeah. What are you doing here, anyway? Well, I came to give Buzz moral support. He's a grown man. He doesn't look like he needs any moral support. Ah, you can't have too many friends. Yes, so I've heard. <laughs> well, we'd better get upstairs to that meeting, don't you think? After you. Listen, did you bring my costume on again? Yes, it's already on board. So when do we roll? Well, the train leaves at 6 p.m. Come on, then. Let's get going. I don't want to miss anything. I've been looking no, forward to this a long else, time. Especially not Sean Elmo. Oh, yes, I heard. Sean's really looking forward to this trip. Not as much as I am. Oh, don't those young men look handsome? And aren't the girls lovely? I am dying to know about that necklace Felicia's wearing. Rather gaudy face, I would say. Mm. She wears them well. Such a beautiful face. Mm. Personally, I prefer a face with more character. You mean a face with more lines? Like yours. And yours. <laughs> Stopping the two of you from dancing to that lovely music. Well, Alan says he has an injured toe. I do. I think he has a sore head, too. Where's uh, Dr. Stryker? Oh, well, he brought a lot of paperwork with him from the hospital. Mm -hmm. Man keeps his nose at the grindstone, huh? I like that. Yes, I think it's admirable. You have this toe. Well, this too shall pass. Well, I don't know about you, Lila, but uh, I'm tired. Oh, you go on up, dear. Whoa, now, darling, you know I can't go to sleep until you're in the room. Oh, you poor darling. May I cut in? Oh, sure. <laughs> uh, we could never get this right. <laughs> no, it never worked. <laughs> Bad joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> Obviously, the hard-working Dr. Stryker's arrived. Hello. I hope everyone's not leaving. Sure. Well, uh, Lila has to have her beauty sleep, and I can use a bit myself, so good night, everybody. Good night. 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 There you go. Yep. Well, Ellen, you're standing. Is your toe better? Agony. Oh. Agony. Agony. In that case, uh, Monica, may I have the pleasure of this dance? Well, I would adore it. Be my guest. Thank you. The food in this place is almost passable. Translation, the food in this place is very good. I didn't say it was good. You know, dear, no one would ever tell that you were dissatisfied, judging by the way you've been stuffing yourself on this trip. <laughs> no, we have to keep up our strength. Lord knows I haven't slept a wink a night. Well, I miss the comfort of my own bed. I have slept like a rock. I did. My back's killing me. I hope 
people leave you two? All you've done is complain. First of all, the food has been delicious, the beds have been very comfortable, and the champagne last night was first rate. Mm. Don't pay any attention, dear. I learned a long time ago that neither my husband nor my son were good travelers. They're really much happier at home. Well, I was perfectly happy in the south of France, though you can hardly call this little train ride traveling. I've had a marvelous time. Yes, so I've noticed. You're a very quiet, Grant. I imagine you regret ever having set out on this little expedition. Mm. Matter of fact, I'm enjoying it. Well, I'm certainly glad you're here. I think it's fantastic you came to your ex-wife's wedding. Took real guts. Besides that, you're a good partner. Thank you, Alan. Well, Grant's too good a businessman to let sentimentality stand in his way. So tell me, um, what is the name of the town that we are at? We're going to meet the ship. The next head, Monica. Don't they have interesting names in yes. this part of the country? And, you know, I find these small villages fascinating. Fascinating? Well, uh, there isn't one five-star restaurant on the whole itinerary. Edward, can't you think of anything but food? Well, as a matter of fact, I was. If Sean Donnelly is going to play Diamond Jim Brady, he could provide us with a little more lavish entertainment. You know, I think Edward's expecting to see Lillian Russell pop up at every stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. You know, Monica, as long as we've got a couple of hours, why don't we uh, go over and see that Revolutionary War Museum we passed on the way in last night? Fine. Yes, fine. Would you excuse me for a minute? What the hell can she find so fascinating about that man? Dr. Stryker. Oh, I think he's absolutely fascinating. <laughs> Do you, Mother? I agree with Father. I failed to see his attraction. Well, tell me, where is your husband to be? He should be here soon. He went on a mysterious errand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's good on the menu, Monica? Well, if you were to ask Alan or Edward, they'd say nothing. <laughs> but I just had the chicken fried steak. It was delicious. Oh, good. Could you join us for a minute? But I'd love to. Thank you. Buzz, have you been able to see any of the town where you've been here? Oh, yeah. I took a long walk this morning. Reminded me a little bit of home. <laughs> it's beautiful here, isn't it? It is. Isn't it cool? Hi. Here's the groom. Hello. Hi. Hi. You miss me? You've only been gone 20 minutes. Well, it seemed like hours. I am starving. <laughs> there is nothing like being in love to cure what ails you. What's been ailing you? Nothing, but if something had, I'd be cured by now. Buzz, you really ought to try falling in love again. Buzz. Buzz, you hear what I said? I did, and I might. <laughs> you might what? <laughs> try falling in love again. That's all right, as long as I'm your best man. Oh. Well, I'd better get back to my family. No, 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 Monica. Stay here and at least have a glass of wine with us. Why don't you? Your husband will survive without you for a few more minutes, won't he? Yes, I think he'll live. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So where'd you go? Oh, I almost forgot. I saw you looking at this little fellow. Oh, look at that. And oh. I went and got it for you. Oh, he's so pretty. He's look at the ball. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. You are going to have to stop spoiling me like Never. This. Are you kidding me? This is just the beginning. You want the moon? You got it. Uh, J.L. here was always generous to a fault. He was the guy who always picked up the bar tab, even when it was his last $5. And it usually was. <laughs> but guess who's coming to the wedding? You invited someone else to the mm -hmm. wedding? Who? Who? Sissy and Harold. They're catching a plane from Indiana. They're going to meet us at Love's Hope. Sissy and Harold? Well, that, uh, that's great. Uh, when did this all happen? I just got a phone. Aren't they the Holt cousins you were telling me about? Yes, they are. And wait till you meet them, Celia. They like to party even more than I do. Isn't that right, Buzz? Oh, their character's all right. They, they must have been very surprised when you called. They're bowled over. They're the only family out back there except for Buzz. And I thought they should be at the wedding. I'm very glad you think of me as family. I always have. Do you think I should have invited Sissy's cousin and her husband? Oh. Exercise extreme caution here, Celia. He'll invite the entire state of Indiana, parts of Illinois, and a defensive line of the Chicago Bears. <laughs> 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 Hello, Monica. You look at the way Monica's laughing with those two hayseeds. When was the last time you ever saw her laughing like that? Actually, I can't remember. I can. It's when she was falling in love with Rick Weber. He's 
can't be starting all over again. But what kind of looks that? Oh. No, darling, you're wrong. Your uh, husband is waiting patiently for you. Oh, well, that's sweet. Um, what was it? Did Lila and Edward come with you? No, I took a cab. They're oh. coming along with Sean Donnelly. Why don't we go inside? All right. Good luck. Sure. 